What I look for in a photograph is always something that moves you in one way or another. Whether it's surprise or whether it's an emotion, it has to be something that takes you out of the ordinary and gives you intellectual or emotional response. I've been doing the APAD Fair for 25 years and one of the great things about the APAD Fair is the variety of work that you see, both chronologically and in terms of style. The genre of portraiture in photography is to some extent related to the technology and development of photography. The idea of a good photograph was something that was very painterly. As the medium progressed, and certainly where we are now, it's definitely branched out into being a much more original medium. What people are doing now, which is interesting in photography and would also apply to any of the arts, is something which adds to the history of the medium. So just as you could say in painting, you know, once you got to impressionism and abstraction, you know, the next thing to do is conceptual work. It's the same with photography. You know, once there have been beautiful painterly likenesses, the next thing is how do you do something that builds on that and that changes and adds something to photography to make it interesting. What makes a photograph a portrait and not just a picture is that a portrait is something that is subjective, something where the artist has brought their own particular point of view to picturing that person and a picture is something that is objective. Portraiture seems to be very much slanted towards images of women, so it's always interesting for me when you find a portrait of a man which is as powerful, as good as a portrait of a woman. What makes things interesting in photography is leaps of imagination that take you to new places that you wouldn't think of before. Vernacular photographs can be great, but they're great because of the perception that we bring to them. What is specific to a photographic portrait is that in most cases, it is a record of a single instant that is a fraction of a second. How that fraction of a second is chosen is something that is unique to photography. In the case of a sculpture or a painter, the image is created over time, but in photography, it's created in a very, very finite moment, and that gives it a quality that's different from the other mediums. The medium of photography happens to be a very open and a universal one. It's parenthetically interesting that I think of all the branches of art, photography is the one that has been most open to women, to people of any minority. You know, it's a very democratic medium.